Hi ladies, I'd just like to show you our two methods for removal. Um, I'm going to start with our remover pads here. They are sticky along the line here and you just simply stick your finger in. I will show you that. We also have the flake off which you just paint it on and the polish softens or it will even actually bubble off. I'm going to show you both methods at the same time. So bear with me. It may be a little bit of a longer video, but so our first pro first part of removal is we are going to take the rough side of the file and just rough up your polish. You want to try and make sure you get all of the shine off your nail. It makes it more porous for the remover serum to get in. So I'm going to do two nails, one with the uh, remover pad, one with our flake off. I will do the remover pad first as it takes a little bit longer. I find this way isn't as messy. I can still do a lot with my kids. So you just simply tear it across the top um, and you're going to take off the sticky right there. So this is all sticky hair and you're just going to simply put your nail in like that. Make sure the pad is on the top of your nail and just fold it over. And then I like to use our remover clips. They just help hold the pad in place a little bit better. And then I am going to take our flake off remover. It is, there we go, it's a brand new bottle. Um, it's quite thick. It's kind of like Vaseline texture and chunky. So if you get it, it did not freeze and get wrecked. It's, that's just the way it is. And you want to make sure you're getting as close to the skin as you can. You don't want it on your skin because over time, you're, if you're getting it on your skin, you can actually create an allergy. I did not know that until I started selling this stuff. So I'm just going to let it sit. So... The remover pad will sit for five to 10 minutes. I always check at five minutes because sometimes I find it's a quicker removal than um, the 10 minutes. And if I leave it on for the 10, it actually reverses. Um, it reverses it and actually makes the polish stick back to my nail. And the flake off, it takes three to five minutes. I usually set a timer just because life gets busy or you're impatient and then it hasn't done its full potential of work. So I will just fast forward it here. Okay, so Flake Off has been on for three minutes. I'm just going to simply use my cuticle pusher and push it off. You may be looking at this and thinking, oh, that's kind of tedious, but is it really? You're only going to be doing this um, once every like two weeks. This isn't an everyday thing like it is with a normal polish. A normal polish, you're having to remove it quite a bit more often. And if you find that you have some stubborn spots um, that won't come off, I find my tips are kind of like that just because they're drier. I will just put on a little bit more flake off. And let it sit. Because I don't want to harm my nail. I really don't. That's the thing. Like, 
any product can be just fine as long as you're doing the proper removal for it. It won't damage your nail. Okay, so this remover pad has been on for just over five minutes and you just simply push it off. And again, if you have any polish that's being stubborn and doesn't want to come off, you just simply put the remover pad back on. Okay. I'm just going to go back here and just like that. That. I'm just grabbing a cleanser pad and I'm just going to wipe it off and just like that ladies um, the polish is removed and I like to just put on um, our cuticle oil I like to put it on my full nail and just let it sit for about 10 minutes. After every removal, it just helps moisturize your nail for a better, cleaner removal, healthier nails. And there we go. That's how you remove gel moment, gel polish. Thanks for watching, ladies.